Hey, it's Scott here with another quick tip. In my last video, I talked about how to rough out double-ended open slots and single-ended open slots with the 2D Adaptive Toolpath. I showed you a few different selection techniques, and I just want to show you another one here with the same part as last time, but the, instead of selecting edges, we're going to select faces to define the model. And then I'm going to show you how to use 2D Pocket to finish this slot. So let's get straight into it. So under the from the 2D milling drop down here, we're going to select 2D Adaptive, and we need to select a tool, so we'll grab that Swift Cab Ramp Mill and then switch straight over to the Geometry tab. Now we need to define our model, okay? So we'll zoom in here and this time we're going to select faces and you'll see that as I add each new face, it's adding to the overall model contour. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. And grab this last face on the end here. Now straight away here, we've got to think about machine cavities. So we want a machine on the outside of what we've just selected here. So we need to turn off machine cavities. And by default, the bottom height is set to from contour. So it's only going to machine as deep as the height of this blue preview here. So we need to switch over to from selection and select the face we want to machine down to. And then let's click OK and see what we get. Got a tool path, we're winning straight away there, but it's cutting too much, so we need to um, con constrain that somewhat. So if we edit this toolpath here and go back to the Geometry tab, activate Stock Contours and select the face, just the face that we want to remove stock from, and then click OK, and we'll see we get a much more confined result. So how do we go about finishing this? Well, we use 2D Pocket, and we'll use the same tool. This time, on the Model tab, we're going to select this face, and we're going to make sure we turn off propagate along Z because when we hold down control and deselect these edges at either end we don't want the deselection to propagate we only want it to remove the two edges at either end and we do have to turn on stock contours here and select that face again then we click OK and we've got ourselves a finishing toolpath alright guys I hope that was helpful please like and subscribe if you've got any questions just fire away in the comments below have a good day cheers bye